What's going on, beaches? Welcome back to some Extra Thirsty. It's your boy, Papa Swolio, back to quench your thirst, and we are jumping right into it today. We got three on the motherfucking clock. Let the countdown begin. Uh, we got some breaking sauce, and this one is from a couple days ago. It's nacho table time. This family vacationing in northern Michigan skips the chips bowl and turns their dinner table into a nacho buffet. See how they wrap the table with aluminum foil to create a massive chili cheese spread in this video, hosted by Spring Lake, Michigan woman, Stephanie Herder. Let's take a look and see what Stephanie is getting herself into. Let's see what's going on in the nation. Let's see how, how we're taking care of our health in this country. Let's check this out. When a fucking plate isn't enough. Yeah, get the kids involved. Nice. Oh my God. I'm about to vomit. Oh, don't just pour. The whole fucking table. The whole fucking table. Yeah. Now let's be honest. Let's be honest. That's like a fucking interesting idea. You know, there's something special about the United States. There's something special about freedom. There's something special about our level of fatness and gluttony. There really is. I mean, people in the United States, it's there's this thing where you have to always one up someone else. The grass is always greener, someone else's car is always nicer, their house is always bigger, they're always more muscular, they must be happier. It's always this competition. And when you make videos like that, obviously that was done to go viral. Like why? Why? Why can't you just have plates? Why can't you just have a big bowl? Why do you have to make it out of the fucking table? I mean, I guess it's kind of easier to clean up. You just roll up that tin foil. So I get it maybe from a cleanliness standpoint. But why is it always trying to take it to this fucking next level? Why is it always trying to make it like it's always trying to explode. It's always trying to level up. It's always trying to do something extra. It's always got to be viral. It's always got to be excessive because once you do that, what's next? Someone's going to take a swimming pool, right? Someone's going to take one of those outdoor swimming pools, those plastic ones, or one of those, uh, slip and slides and make a nacho fucking table out of that. A nacho, big old nacho blanket. I don't know what's next. Someone's going to make nachos in the bathtub and just cover themselves in nachos. That's probably Nico Cotto. It's always the next thing. Like, why is this getting? Oh my God. It's fucking nasty. So much. Get the kids involved. Get your whole family. Uh, and at the, at the expense of being Johnny Raincloud, everyone, I know so many people are watching like, oh my God, don't you ever cheat? Don't you ever eat crap? I used to eat nachos all the fucking time. Trust me, I've had my share of nachos. I also know what's on the other side of eating nachos. And you might not have massively obese people in that video, but most people that eat that shit are morbidly obese. And most people in that video don't really take care of their health. Why? Because most people don't. And I'm, of course, just guessing. And I'm not trying to be negative Nancy, but shit, I'll be damned if there isn't just excess everywhere. It's just excessive fucking shit. It's always one-upping. We can't make a big fucking buffet. We have to make the table the fucking plate. We have to make the table the fucking plate. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where this goes. What's next? What the fuck is next? Let's turn the living room into a fucking nacho bowl. Anyway, drop a comment down below. I need some more coffee. I need something that tastes good. I need some fucking nachos. Where are my nachos at? <laughs> drop a comment subscribe fam what do you think are you gonna turn your table into some nachos just fucking around just having fun <sighs> fucking people peace out see you next time i just want to win on the low low ask me where i've been i said don't know, don't know. you making demands i said whoa, whoa, whoa. she want to be friends i said no no hey, yeah no, no. whoa my soul is stuck between dark and the light it's like playing some musical chairs they kicked me out so i started a life made a bag that was bigger than theirs i win and i lose and i win and